It's now been nine days since a mother vanished in Chafee County. Suzanne Morphew was reported missing on Mother's Day after she didn't return home from a bike ride. There were no actual targeted searches today. However, investigators have a hold on their home, not letting the family go in or out since it is still an open investigation. Fox 21's Lauren Sharp spoke with a family member to learn more about Suzanne. I spoke with the uncle of Suzanne's husband who tells me this past week for the family can be summed up with one word, terrifying. Bob Morphew says he hasn't seen the couple since they moved to Colorado, but he believes his nephew Barry had absolutely nothing to do with Suzanne's disappearance. She's the sweetest, one of the sweetest people you would ever want to meet. Bob Morphew describes Suzanne as a loving mother, wife, a former teacher, and a kind person. She's the kind of person that everybody loved. Bob is Barry's uncle, living in Indiana. He feels helpless and wants his family to have answers as to what happened to Suzanne. You know, I love those kids, and, I, and what I want is for them to be back together. A plea from Suzanne's husband, Barry, was shared online exactly a week after she disappeared. If anyone is out there that can hear this, that has you, please, we'll do whatever it takes to bring you back. We love you, we miss you, your girls need you. No questions asked. Uncle Bob says Barry is very sincere in the video. They were a loving couple. And I never, uh, I've, I've never seen any kind of uh, unhappiness uh, with each other uh, produced by either one of them. So his message to those pointing the finger at Barry. I, I think they can bury that kind of thought. The Morphews say they desperately want Suzanne to safely return home. We're all terrified about this and uh, no place to find any rest. But like I said, everybody loves Suzanne and Barry. And we know what they're going through, and, 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 and it's, uh, it's hard on our hearts, too, because we don't know. There have been more than 150 tips called in. The family continues to encourage people to share Suzanne's photo and information. It can be found on our website.